Oh, this is what catfish was all about. <laughs> yes, look at that hairline. Hi, ladies and gentlemen, and everybody in between. I'm back with somebody else's hair, and guess what? It is another get ready with me, girl, swallow. Mm -mm. I'm gonna get real close, real quick. Baby, whose scalp is that? It's mine. It's my scalp. You can't tell me that it's not. First of all, this scalp took a couple seconds to throw on. Like, that's it. Can you tell? Like, look at this. So the look I was going for was a little bit of glam, effortless glam. So we're doing like a little bit of an effortless glam look with mostly drugstore items on the face and no customization on the wig. None at all, girl. Just pull her out the box and punch it. So if you want to see how she looks when she comes out the box and how I applied her in the minimal styling that I did, please keep on watching and then I'll be back to do the very simple face and run my mouth about a whole bunch of nothing. Now let's go ahead and get into this gorgeous wig. I want to say thank you to Chris Beauty Hair for providing this wig to me and sponsoring this video. Your wig is going to come in the very nice Chris Beauty Hair box. And of course, Chris Beauty Hair provides gifts, a comb, rollers, baby hair brush, wig cap, all types of stuff that you would need to style your wig. And of course, they give you your beautiful wig. You'll see those bouncy twerking curls, girl, they look so good. So this is what the wig looks like. This wig is the 13 by six clear lace, clean hairline, loose wave wig. It is 20 inches long and 200% density. It comes with the adjustable straps. It has a pre-plugged hairline and it comes with a um, removable strap as well. Now this wig is a gorgeous wig and I want y'all to take a really close look at what this wig looked like when she came out of the box. This is what I got. The curls were already done. The hairline was pre-plucked. I was shocked. Like, look at it. And we get to apply this wig with no ball cap method. As you can see, the curls were bouncy and poppington. And you have a 13 by six lace frontal. So the parting goes all the way to the bike. Okay? If somebody's saying it behind you, they won't know. Now, as you can see, this is clear lace. I love clear lace. It is so transparent, but I like to tint all of my lace. And I'm going to use the... Flawless Illusions Lace Tint Spray in Medium Brown. Apply the tint to a brush and brush it onto this, the clear lace and then dry it using my blow dryer. Now, once that is complete, you can see that it's just gonna melt that much better. And all I have to do to get this hairline together is flatten it a little bit. So I'm gonna use a ZLA wax stick and I'm just going to flatten this hairline. I just wanted to lay down, like lay flat a little bit. And I also wanted to get some of those stray hairs out of the way. So I'm gonna use my Andis hot comb and just basically deep fry my hairline. <laughs> Girl, all that smoke, I didn't even know that was happening. Hopefully my lungs are okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my hair clips and pull the hair back so I can just go ahead and cut this lace. Now we sped it up a little bit because this is gonna be easier to explain. But I'm gonna go ahead and cut the lace off of the wig. The lace was a little bit long on the ear so I just cut off the excess lace. And I cut off a little bit of the hairline because it gave more of a widow's peak. So if you're a widow's peak girly, they got you. Now you can see how it's gonna melt, baby. I'm gonna use the Wig Dealer Touch Up Gel and I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that to the hairline, allow that to dry, get sticky, really sticky girl. Don't apply it while it's wet if you use lace tint because you'll end up with Kool-Aid on your forehead girl, it looks a mess. So once I apply it, I like to take a comb. Girl, I need a new comb, that thing was dirty. <laughs> I have no idea why. But I'm gonna take a comb and then melt the lace into the skin. So I like to work in sections with my clear lace because clear lace, for some reason, it don't stick right. And I feel like I wasn't the only one that felt like this. One of the homegirls in the comments said she felt the same way. Clear Lace takes a little bit more effort to stick. So I love using this gel to apply the lace because it sticks a lot better. So as you can see, baby, there's no white cast, no nothing. It looks so good. It looks like it's going out of my scalp. And all I have to do now is melt it down. Now you can kind of see, although these knots are pre-bleached, you can kind of see the little dots. They don't bleach the knots till they're super blonde because that can destroy your hairline. We only do that at the house. They're not doing that for you, but it is pre-bleached knots. They're not showing up like that. Now, next, I'm just going to go ahead um, after while the hairline is melting. I'm just going to take my wax stick and kind of 
take away the heightness from the hair, but girl, <laughs> I forgot this wig rip is real thin, so I had to be careful. Now, I didn't do the ball cap method, I just used one wig rip and that was it. Now, as you can see, once I separated the curls, the hair fluffed out, but the ends felt a little bit dry. So I did a little bit of trimmation. And of course, once I start trimming, I start cutting. And once I start cutting, I start layering. Once I start layering, baby, I start chopping. Okay, I just can't stop myself. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use my Annie shears and just trim down the hair and make sure it's layered. Now I find, because this hair is perfectly curled, they like one curl it or something, girl. I find that it's best for me to layer it so the curls can bounce back more. Once you leave the ends um, kind of dry, the curls kind of tangle together at the bottom. So a little bit of layering went a long way. Girl, my left-handedness and right, my ambidextrousness was really messing me up while I was trying to do this. But as you can see, it's fully trimmed and ready to go. And all we have to do now is reveal the hairline. Now, I'm gonna show you what the hairline looks like. Just melted, no real customization, no baby hairs, no slickification. I don't think that's a word, but that's what the hair looks like straight back. Nothing done to the hairline except a little hot combing. It looks stunning. This looks like it's growing out of my scalp and I feel like I, th I could fool the girls. I feel like I could lie and say this is my hair and y'all will believe me. I really do. I really do because look at this hairline look how gorgeous it is it is perfectly pre-plucked and that's what a clean hairline means it's clean baby it's pre-plucked it's pre-bleached and that's it so this looks stunning I loved how this looked but I decided I wanted to do like a little bit of um laying I've had this wig on at this point for a couple of hours so I'm just going to use some wig dealer spray and I wanted to see what it would look like if I did like you know just like when we wear our natural hair how we just kind of lay the edges. I decided to use wig dealer spray because it's a little bit better um, than using gel because I didn't want it to be too harsh. So I just used my baby hair brush and laid the hair back a little bit and just did a little swoopy doo in the receding hairline area. And that made such a difference. It made it look a little bit more like I went to the salon and my um, hairstylist, the way she used to do my edges after my hair was done. That's how it looked. It looks stunning, gorgeous, and I am in love with it. And you can wear this wig in so many styles and it's so easy to flip over and move around and play with. It's such playful hair and I didn't have to curl it one bit. Y'all tell me what you think about this wig down below. I'll leave links for it down below as well. And coupon codes. Check out the coupon codes. Now let's go ahead and get into this face. Okay, y'all, let's go ahead and get started on this face. Y'all already know, I be tied through and delayed. I don't really know what I'm gonna do for my makeup. But it's about to be simple, because it's late. To show off the hairline before we do the makeup, of course, we gotta do the headband. I don't think I can mess up these cur curls, because these curls are like, like they are stuck in there. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I think we're gonna use some of this because my skin will be glowing, glowing like that. But first, y'all already know what time it is. I use one primer and this is the NYX Bear With Me Prime Set and Refresh eight hour primer. So let's, ooh, ah, oh yes. Now I wanna keep moving with the glowing skin sort of look. So I'm gonna use the Lip Bar Skin Glow Highlighting Serum. I've had this for a minute. I did a sponsorship with them a while ago and I actually love this serum, but I just never, I'm just gonna blend it. I don't wanna, I don't like put my fingers on my face after wearing lotion. It's like a weird thing. My hands have to be crispity, crunchity, Pringles dry for me to touch my face. So, so I'm just gonna use my little teeny tiny blender and I'm just gonna Blend it into the cheeks real quick. I'm just putting a whole bunch on my sponge. I wonder if it'll make me glow. I don't even know if I'm supposed to be using it like this. Put some in the middle of the nose. Let's go under the brow. Let's go everywhere. <laughs> Y'all see the glow? Do you see it? Ooh, that is reflective. Wow, that's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot, girl. I'm gonna do reverse contouring with some drugstore products. A little bit, a little bit, a few drugstore products. I don't know if it's gonna work, girl. Okay, so we're gonna start with concealer. I'm gonna start with Lip Bar. This is the Lip Bar Quick Conceal Caffeine. Let me put this top back in. 
the lip bar quick conceal caffeine concealer this is actually a really good concealer i didn't really think like first i was like huh baby it's a little bit too light but and it is a tad bit too light but once i blend it out it's such a good consistency it's really buttery and nice and if you get the right skin tone baby you are set up Smells a little nail polishy and some on the nose. <laughs> Look at me, still putting my concealer down like I'm a millennial. I know that's right. All over the face. <laughs> Y'all know I always use my Bobbi Brown walnut skin. Like this is late, but this is what it is. I'm just gonna put it directly on the skin. This is very red, very red, baby. Oh, that's too much. Did I show y'all what this was? This is a Bobbi Brown Walnut Skin Stick Foundation in the color Walnut Skin. Did I already say that? It's my favorite. It's the only um, bronze, like the stick foundation that it's like my skin tone. It's so hard for me to find my skin tone, so. Oh, I need to get above the lip too. I noticed a girl will be doing that. But I be looking like I get a mustache, so I don't know why I do it. I should have left well enough alone because I look a fool. Anyways, how are y'all doing today? I hope you're doing fantastico. I hope you're doing well because, you know, all is great over here. What's been different between the last week? Nothing, child. Oh, I need to go get a brand new sponge. This is a Sonia Kashuk sponge, so I'm just going to go ahead and blend this out. Little update. Oh, I washed my hair this week. <laughs> why is that? That's not interesting to you. Let me tell you something. My hair, I don't know what is going on. Oh, I didn't put any um, on my eyelids. I like to contour my eyelids. So I'm gonna put some right here. So I ain't gotta do nothing when it comes to eyeshadow. My hair is still short. And I started, every time I wash my hair, what I started to do was um, after I washed my hair, I would, um, Cut it like before or after I would cut it and I would cut like at least maybe half an inch off and it seems to like maintain the health of my hair I don't know what's going on no baby my hair is just so fine it's just like really fine and I don't know what to do y'all tell me if you have like the same issue with your hair I don't know what's going on y'all let me know if there's any products that you like to use to have your hair like flourish but you know what I had to get used to the fact like girl that's just what my hair looked like <laughs> i remember when i first did my um i did like a hair update or a big chop and people were telling me all types of stuff like you need to eat this you need to take your vitamins you need to girl ain't nothing in this world that i can do to fix the density of my hair it is what it is i've tried everything my hair used to be like a little bit thicker when i was younger which is normal um but like since I've been an adult girl, it's always been fine. And it breaks so easy, so. I'm thinking about cutting my hair off again. I'll show you a little clip of what my hair looked when it was cut off. It was really cute. If you haven't seen that video, I'll leave a link up above for you to see my big chop. But girl, the big chop was big chopping. You hear me? It was so good. That's the reason why I started wearing wigs, though. Because what I started to realize once I got... I'm gonna use this blush. This is a stick, the Wonder Stick foundation. This is the only cream blush I use, it's the only one I trust. This is the NYX Wonder Stick Stick Foundation in the color Deep Peach. I'm just gonna go ahead and add the little, add some. Oh no, I shouldn't use that side. Oh <gasps> no. Anyways, girl, I put it on the wrong side of the sponge. That's why I need more than a, more than one. The reason why I started wearing wigs, because I, you know, I wanted to change up my hair. But also, uh, I just wanted thicker, more voluminous hair, and I just never had it. I started wearing wigs when I think I started wearing wigs. How old was I? 18. I used to get old. Oh, that's what I used to get. I forgot. In high school, I used to get glue-in tracks. But I went to the salon every single week. Y'all remember doing that? Every two weeks. I'll get my hair washed and done every single two weeks. Shout out to my mama. 
and my stylist Sean she used to do my hair and my hair was so healthy but after I stopped going to the salon baby it went downhill because I was doing cornrows all types of styling to my hair I'm gonna use the lip bar foundation in the color almond joy this is the just a tint three in one skin conditioner foundation I hope this looks right because oh girl I hope this looks right we're gonna do a thin layer there we go and we're just gonna go all over the face where do I start around the mouth yep okay so we're just gonna pounce all of this into the face but yeah once I went to college, girl, my hair went downhill. So I was like, you know what? Let me um, get into, what did I start wearing? Half wigs? I think it was half wigs. Um, and I thought I was doing something, but girl, those half wigs looked a mess. Do y'all remember like your first, if you wear wigs, what was the first wig you wore? And if it looked a fool? Because my half wig would be back here and it had those combs. And it would slide into my hair. And then once it would slide into my hair, it would like, the combs would stick into my head. Girl, I had a headache all day, but I thought it was cute. And back in the day, they didn't really have the curl patterns on wigs that matched natural hair. So girl, I was out there just looking crazy. Hopefully the girls don't see, and I know they did. It was obvious. I was giving very much jerry curl in the front, body wave in the back. Like, what are we doing? And I really thought my hair was blending. Girl, that's crazy. Oh, y'all see how that blended all together? How quick that was? I'm gonna go over the concealer just a little bit more and then go over the eyelids. Do you see how quick that was? Oh, Real Housewives of Beverly Hills comes on today. I always forget. Oh, baby. We will be watching. Okay, so let's go ahead and set it and forget it. Y'all know. Drugstore or not, I'm not playing with no other powder but this one because I'm I'm hooked. I love this powder. This is the Laura Mercier Translated Translucent Setting Powder. It is so good. I think it's worth the investment. And y'all know I don't be spending my money on makeup like that. Really don't. If it don't come from the CCO, it's not coming in my home. <laughs> Let me go ahead and set my under eyes. I'm gonna use my sponge and I'll be oversetting. So I'm just gonna put some in my hand and get rid of that excess powder. And set under the eyes like so. Dip it again and we'll do the other side. Put some in my hands and then set under the eyes. But yeah, girl, I had to learn like I used to love my hair when I was younger, but like, you know, wearing the like the little kitty styles, but once it cut, came to growing up and wearing like the grown up styles, cause I was a half up, half down, braids in the front, loose in the back sort of girl. But when it came to wearing like grown up hairstyles, my hair just couldn't do it, it's just so fine. So I started getting into wigs. I was always into styling my hair, but getting into wigs, I got into them at 18 and that half wig really did look a mess. And I remember there was one time this guy I was dating, he asked me, he was like, is that a wig? And I was like, no. <laughs> it was literally Jerry Curl in the front and synthetic, human in the front, my hair, and synthetic in the back. It was shiny in the back and dull in the front because I would use conditioner on my hair, it was a mess. But once I graduated to better wigs, yes, ma'am. Highlight under here. Girl, I'm, I'm basically setting the whole face. Baby, all I got is nine minutes left on the clock, so I need to quit running my mouth. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go ahead and set the bronzer. I'm gonna set the bronzer or use a bronzer. I'm gonna use the lip bar. Girl, it's the same palette I've been using. This is the bronzer, uh, the Boss Moves uh, palette with the contour color Making Bets. And I'm a, oh, I wish I had some nails. I'd be feeling like I look a fool. Anyways, but yeah, girl, it's been a journey with my hair and it still is. Ooh, I feel like it's coming together. I'm gonna go ahead and blend out the nose. Let's do under the chin here. I wonder if I should do a red lid. That's a bit much. 
Y'all see how the makeup blends the lace? I don't know what it was. Oh, how did I get into lace wigs? So I'm using the blush color cashing checks. No, it's not cashing checks. What is this? Grinding. I get it all mixed up because they don't mess up the stickers on the back. Oh, that's a lot of blush, girl. I'm going too far. Somebody needs to be in here to stop me. Like, girl, you... <laughs> we get it. You like blush. So, for the eyelids, I'm only going to use the bronzer. I'm just going to add it to the eyelids. Across the eyelid. Oh, my God. I feel like my, uh, oh no. Every single time, friend. That's why I don't do eyeshadow. For my eyebrows, I'm gonna use the same eyebrow pencil. I always use the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the color black, cause I ain't got no other pencil. I already drew in my eyebrows because, <sighs> y'all know how my eyebrows, my eyebrows is like the hair on my head, okay? It's not a lot of them, so. Do they have eyebrow weaves? <laughs> I need to get microblading. So I can make my life a lot easier, but. Okay, I'm brushing in the eyebrows, drawing them in, can y'all see? And I usually draw the tail way too long, but keep it light. I already powdered my brows. I'm telling you quick tip that I learned from um, Tasha Washa or Natasha here on YouTube is powder your brows, girl. I know I say it every other get ready with me, but powder your brows. Ooh, are they too close in? <gasps> Baby, you see how uneven that is? It's like I have an eyebrow up. Where, where did I go wrong? Since we were talking about here, I get comments. I guess it's from people that end up on my videos off of like YouTube recommendations or ads or something like that. And it'll be comments like, wear your own hair. <laughs> Like, why are you so mad, girl? But it'd be the girls that would never wear a wig in their life. But the girls that you would never think would be wearing wigs, that'd be mad about me wearing a wig. It happened on TikTok, on, one, on my only, I think I've only had one viral video on there. Why don't y'all like to wear hair that look like yours? Oh. Why are you mad about it? <laughs> what are we talking about? <laughs> What's going on? I wonder why people react like that. Like, I'm never gonna get it. If you have an idea, please let me know down below. Like why people get so mad. I be just thinking like, do you, do you want a wig? <laughs> I mean like, girl, I can send you a link cause I'm not gonna give you one. But I can send you a link, I can help you out. I think I need to put a bronzer on my lower lid. I think it really be upsetting the girls that the, the wigs just be eating. They look so good that the girls be mad. Okay. That brown, this is a, just the bronzer color. It shows up so pretty. Why is my camera like this? What do we want to do for the lips? Okay, let's do the, why the lips juicify. I don't know if that's a word, but they get moisturized because my lips been crispity that, today. Like it really has been going through a lot. I'm going to use the Super Fan Mascara. Y'all know it's the only mascara I use for right now until I get a new one. It's about dry now. I don't know why I be thinking these lashes look more natural than mascara. I don't know, something about lashes, I think it's the element of not having to get up in the morning and put them on, like sleeping and waking up with lashes. It just feels better versus waking up bald-eyed and bushy-tailed. <laughs> I be giving very much owl without lashes, owl. Okay, so lips. I'm gonna go ahead and use the, say it with me, the NYX Line Loud Lip Liner in the color Rebel Kind. It's only this one in the Amon Espresso Pencil. I think I have one more. Oh, not me drooling all over this pencil. Oh, not with the saliva everywhere. I'm gonna use the Lip Bar. Um, what is this, Boss Lady Red Lip, and then I'm gonna, on the outside, and then on the inside, I'm gonna use Boy Trouble. We're gonna use both, but I want this lip, I don't want it to be too much. Sometimes red lips just be a lot, 
And I love a red lip, but it's like a commitment. Like once you go red, you can't go back. I'm just gonna. Oh girl, I already started, so you can't go back. Ooh, that's pretty though. Okay. One thing about a red lip is that if you do a little bit too much, you just look like you've been up to no good. It can look a fool in a few seconds. Okay, let me do the center color. This is Boy Trouble. This is a really, really bright red. Oh, that's kind of bright. I know if I wanted it that bright. That's kind of bright. That's kind of pretty, but it looked like Christmas, girl. We in October. Okay, so while that's drying, I'm going to spray the face down, set it, and forget it. Y'all already know. We're going to use the same product we used at the beginning. We're going to use it at the end. I think we only used, what, two high-end products? The Laura Mercier powder and the Smashbox mascara, and that don't even count. It's a travel size. Mm. Oh. Oh. So let me go ahead and pull this off. The face is dry. Is it looking ashy? It looks good. Highlighted, blended, giving very much, I don't know what you would call it. Something. Shall. Okay, y'all. Y'all see this? This is a finished look, girl. It's the end. This was super duper quick. Like an easy, wait, date night look? Would I say date night? Is this date night? Would you consider this date night? It's like a date night-ish sort of look. It just like, it has the romantic curls without you having to do much. Like, girl, you don't got to curl your hair. You ain't got to do nothing. Toss on the wig and punch it, girl. You run a light, it's all right. Leave the lace on there. Ain't nobody gonna know. Ain't no baby hair. It's like, what do we... Oh, it's fooling the girls. If you ask me if this is my hair, I'm gonna say yes. <laughs> it is. Like, wow. Oh, this is what catfish was all about. <laughs> yes. Look at that hairline. Okay, now let's get into the face. I'm over here raving about this hair. The sponsorship is over, girl. <laughs> Relax. Okay, so this is a finished look. Let me get on out of here because I'm choking on my own saliva. So at this point, something's telling me to go home. <laughs> this is a finished look. Y'all tell me what you think about this look down below. How do you like the face? How do you like the lips? How do you like the method that I use? Because that one, I haven't used it in a minute. You don't even have to worry about blending, girl. If your wrist ain't got enough time to blend, girl, just throw some foundation over it and call it a day. <laughs> y'all tell me what you think about this look. Hopefully you enjoyed this Get Ready With Me. Y'all let me know what sort of looks would you like to see me do down below or what would you like me to talk about? What y'all wanna know? I love you all. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. And I'll, see, oh, this is in the way. I'll see you in my next video. Wait. Oh, it's because I usually have two hands. Bye. <laughs>